Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a giant paper lily of the valley. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel below and like this video. I'll also be listing the supplies along with the template below the video. The template can be used for your Cricut, Silhouette, or other cutting machines, or you could print the pattern and hand cut these for those that don't have a cutting machine. I also have a small paper lily of the valley template linked below. You'll need one center pattern, and I was able to fit two on one letter size paper. And you'll need three of these petal shapes, and I was also able to fit two on one letter size paper. So you'll need to cut more on another sheet of paper. I typically like to hand cut all my giant flowers because I could stack a bunch and cut them all at once. And luckily this pattern is an easy shape to cut by hand. So you could print it like this and cut a stack of off-white paper. You'll need to cut two per letter size paper. You could also hand cut the center shape and also fit two per sheet. I'll be making a total of 11 flowers and each flower needs three petal shapes and one center shape. Next, take white tissue paper and wrap it around a thicker floral wire. I wrapped about the height of the petal shape. Then bunch up the leftover so there is a bunched up area and glue the ends so it doesn't unravel. Next will be the center shape. Curl each piece. I like to curl it in and curl the tips out. Then poke a hole in the center. Then add it through the floral wire with the tissue paper. Next, you'll need three petal shapes. Curl each one in like a cylinder. Then add glue on the bottom left and make the left side go under the right tab. Then curl the tips out. You'll need to do this same thing to a total of three petals. Just a friendly reminder, you want to make sure the bottom of the petal on the back side needs to look clean because when we put these on the bigger stem, this bottom back side will be the side you see since these flowers droop down. Next, add glue on the left side again and connect to another one below the right side. Then the third piece, you want to make sure it tucks in between so the petals are all going in the right direction and make sure it evenly goes around the circle. Then add glue on the left side. 
Next, poke a hole in the center of the flower and add your stem and add glue in between. I also like to glue down the sides to help stay in place. Next, I'll be showing you the giant flower stand and stem kit for the base. You can find them linked below the video and comes with this metal base that is nice because it is flat to the crown and collapsible. Comes with the screw so you can screw the rod and I also provide this green paper to cover the metal. I tried painting it before but it just chips off the metal so this paper works fine. And you could add the grass bundle if you want and add your pipe. The pipe that I provide will be flexible and it's flexible but it also holds the shape once you shape it. But I will also show you how to DIY this. This part will be for the base of the giant paper flower so it could stand on its own and the stem. I like to use the Rapid Set Cement Awl and I haven't really experimented with other types of concrete. This one has a light gray finish and smooths on its own. Comes in a smaller box if you want to only make a couple or a bigger bag if you want to make a lot of stands. I'll be using plastic plant saucers that you can find in the plant section as our mold and I'm using an 8 inch size but there are are bigger sizes if you want to add multiple flowers in one base. I use duct tape to guide my 3 4 coupler of my 3 4 inch PVC pipe. That will be my stem so that it will come apart to transport in a car. If you are using a different size PVC pipe, get the matching coupler. Add duct tape on only one end of the coupler. These will be found at Home Depot, Lowe's, or on Amazon and I'll try my best to link all of this below the video. Make sure you are being safe and wear gloves and a mask so you don't breathe in the fine dust and safety goggles when working with this. I used about six scoops of these disposable plastic cups but I like to work in small increments. If you do a lot at a time it is harder to mix. You will also have to be quick so it doesn't set while you mix. Then add a little bit of water as you go and mix until you get a pancake consistency. Add more concrete if you need to thicken it. Fill up until you cover just the bottom and add your coupler. I have my coupler connected with a small PVC pipe just so I could hold it on the top. Then fill up a little more until right below the coupler ends. It should take a couple hours to fully set so while we wait for that we will now get the stems ready with PVC pipe. I got a pan, ladle, and funnel from a thrift store that I designated for this and not use for cooking. Then you can find playground sand outside or actually buy a bag of sand. I like to have enough to fill up the pan so I could work on multiple at a time but if you are only making one you could just use a little more than your PVC pipe could hold. Heat it up until you feel the sand is too hot to touch. Then tape one end of the PVC pipe with duct tape and the other side use a funnel and ladle to scoop your sand into the pipe. Then fill to the top and close it up with duct tape. And on the ground you could shape your desired shape. This will look a little different from each flower so shape accordingly. You could use heat gun or even a blow dryer but I felt the heated sand gave me the most even heat without kinking the pipe. Then take the sand back out. This part is optional for the bulb. I'll be linking the full tutorial below and I realized the Lily of the Valley doesn't have a bulb in real life but I thought it paired well with these flowers so if you do want to build this part you could follow with my other tutorial where I take you step by step. Once you have a set of flowers ready to attach to the stem, tape each flower where you like it on the PVC pipe. I am attaching five flowers on one pipe and six flowers on another pipe to have a bundle of flowers. I also cut out green leaf shapes to attach together with only a few flowers on the stem. Maybe every other flowers you could tape the leaf with the stem together on the pipe stem. Then take green crepe paper and cut a strip and wrap it around going in between the flowers covering up the pipe. I use this white glue I'll be linking below and glue it every so often. I also attach two extra floral wire towards the bottom middle of the pipe for the side leaves. Then I cut four of these big side leaves that fit a whole 12 by 12 cardstock paper and they need to be paired up. Then add glue around the rim of the leaf with this white glue and I'll be linking that below the video. Make sure to leave an opening on the bottom of the leaves, then sandwich the pair on top and match up the edges. Then fold down the middle and it's okay if it doesn't perfectly meet down the middle 
and shape the pointy tips by curling it out and just adding some shape to these leaves. Add the leaves to the floral wire and add your bulb on the bottom before attaching the pipe to the base of the stand. You could also make the flower without the bulb and make the flowers go further down. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.